You're getting giggly over all of the googly eyes that you're seeing. We are seeing lots of ways to use these craft store staples. Here are just a few that have caught our attention. I almost said caught our eye, but that would be something to giggle about, right? This is our friend Kari Feigl at Clockwork Design. She said she was walking through the house with googly eyes in hand when she saw the opportunity to put them on a pillow and make a mummy. Are you kidding? So cute. Here's another from pancakes to popcorn, from cookies to fruit. Allison Miller from the website Cupcake Diaries. She is putting edible eyes on nearly everything. And googly eyes turn a party into a real monster mash. Jennifer Hadfield from Tater Tots and Jello. She put eyes on everything for this party escape. Look at those donuts. Kind of creepy, kind of cute. I'd eat them either way. And pumpkins get instant personality with big wide googly eyes. That's a super simple idea from Melanie Ledoux at the website Reasons to Skip Homework. See, so much inspiration, but we are going to give you a real reason to look over your shoulder. Our googly eyes we're showing today are super size. Take part of an afternoon to work up some yard decor that will make your neighbors do a double take. It's a happy way to haunt the house. Melissa Eslin is teaching us how to make giant googly eyes. I laughed just almost saying googly eyes 50 times in a uh, minute. How yeah, about that? It kind of tickles your tongue a little googly, bit. Googly, it really does. What have you done here? What have you done? So um, we have a weeping willow tree in our front yard and it sort of looks like Cousin It. And I thought, <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to put googly eyes on this. Cousin It needs eyes. Yes. <laughs> so I did that last year with eyes, like seven inch googly eyes that I found at Amazon, but they fell apart. So we're doing a weather friendly, easy and way cheaper version we're of making, giant googly eyes. We're making yes. our own. Yes. So people would ask, why not just buy them? You mentioned the weather proof factor. Utah is known for its unpredictable weather and rain made our googly eyes kind of sad. Yeah, it totally destroyed them. But there was a size factor too. You couldn't find the size you wanted. Yeah, I, I couldn't understand. find anything bigger than seven inches in diameter. And I'm like, I want bigger. And I, I've only gone as big as a letter sized piece of paper. Okay. But you can go even bigger with, you know, you've got alpha graphics and all all of these awesome graphic stores where right. they can do lamination for you. So you grab a poster, grab some, you know, giant scissors and go to town. Totally. It's super easy. I want to ask you about how you secure them and all of that, but first show us actually on the craft table how you've done this. Okay. Simple, simple, simple. Grab whatever paper you have on hand. So we have cardstock. You can also use regular copy paper. Yeah, I don't know. Laminating. Now that you've planted the poster size in my head, this kind of feels limpy. We got to go bigger. But <laughs> yeah, right? I know. Seriously. I'm just go saying, bigger, go you've home. You've set a bar. So we've, we've cut out eyes and you can cut them out in any shape. I went super simple and cut these out on my silhouette machine. Okay. So they were all uniform. And then I grabbed whatever black paper I had on hand. We actually in the studio got a black um, gift bag. And chopped and it chopped up. chopped up eyes for the pupils. You can do any color. Really, I mean, that's the fun of, of Halloween is that like you can go gaudy and like I love that you crazy. just said eyes for the pupils. We got the pupils. eyes. Oh, for the pupils. <laughs> I thought you said eyes for the pupils, and I was like, yeah, give the pupils eyes. Totally, totally. For the pupils. For the pupils. You. So you can make crazy eyes, mad eyes, any kind of eyes. Just be creative. Now, let's talk about positioning here. Mad eyes go in. I mean, help us pull this off from so an artistic So mad eyes, you want an angle here. You don't want an oval or a circle. You have this okay. angle pointing downward. Okay. Right? So here's your mad eyes. Yes, these are the mad eyes. Yeah. And then crazy eyes, you're going to have your pupils in different spots. Uh huh. So they just are looking in different directions. Or, you know, have them looking in the same direction so they're kind of like creeping and peeping mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. So, or looking inwards and they're so they're kind of silly. Moments and you like can this, really play around with it. I love my job. We just defined how to make mad eyes, how to make, I mean, this is serious stuff. This right? is serious Halloween super talk, serious people. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's super simple. Just make your eyes, you don't need to secure them to or anything because we're gonna grab our lamination paper. Okay. And the lamination paper, I just get this on Amazon. It has a crease already in it. I didn't know you could buy lamination paper. Uh-huh. I think every <laughs> every household needs to have a laminator. It folds right over. You own a you own this? Yes. It's, it's a it's 30 personal, bucks. 30, 30 bucks on Amazon. 30 yeah. bucks? Yeah. Okay. And you, you can actually also use, I think, your mink machine. Oh. Those little mink like foil things. Right. Um so anyway, super easy. I know what I am asking Santa for for Christmas. I so had just, no idea these existed. Personal lamination machine. Yeah, and you put your eyeballs inside this little sheet. Check. And then you just fill, 
Just put it in here. I can smell it heating up. Right? It smells nice. See, I'm a teacher's daughter, so I would run lamination for my mom all the time right? after hours at the school. That smell is there's, like nostalgic for me. And then cutting into lamination, oh, there's yeah. something so satisfying into cutting into the... I'm a pro. I can whiz around corners. I can do circles. You give yeah. me a pair of scissors and a laminated piece of paper, and I got your back. <laughs> right? It's super fun. So it takes a little bit of time to get the lamination going all the way through. Mm -hmm. And if you're using extra thick paper, you may want to laminate it twice, just depending upon your machine. Now, if you're going to an Alpha Graphics or a Kinko's or whatnot, they're going to ask you the thickness of your lamination. Do you want to go thick? Go thick, yeah. Why not? Okay. Why not? Durability counts. Durability is great. And, you know, I'm a minimalist when it comes to decor. Are yes, you? Like holiday decor, totally. So this is nice because you can store it flat when you're done. So I would invest in making it nicer so you can use it year in, year out. Yeah, make it last. All right, how do we affix these to our bushes, okay. to our weeping willow trees? The trick is cutting them out. So first I get my hole punch, okay. and this is like totally overkill for hole punches. You can get any kind of hole punch. <laughs> All right. We're, we're crafters here. So She's we got the catalog go, of hole punches, right? But you we get totally it. do. So you want a hole punch at the top and bottom, both mm -hmm. sides, and then you cut around with like a quarter inch border. Okay. And it, you're going to create sort of this, I hope you can see it. Right. This lemon shape. Right. So that you're not cutting into your paper at uh -huh. all. Okay. Because if you perforate the lamination, if you're going to put holes right here in uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know the whites of the eyes, then you're going to leave room for whether to come in and yeah, ruin. Effect ruin. And then what, mm -hmm. wire on the on the yeah. corners? I use I use like this super thin, I think it's like 16 gauge wire. Okay, loop it you through. You can also if you have extra wire from sandwich bags. Oh yeah. Or like bread bags. Oh yeah, just tie just it off. Just tie it off. Okay. Or you can use baker's twine, anything like that totally works. And your trees, your shrubs, what's the effect at it's your just, home? Oh my gosh, people walk by and giggle. Oh, I they bet. They think it's the funniest thing ever. It's a fun Halloween house. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for showing us. And I always love when a girl matches her project and your sweatshirt, totally on point. She made this, by the way. I made did. it. I made it. Bejeweled it and everything? Yep. You're like a walk clean googly eye. But we're I, not giggling at you. We're just Woo! respecting you for helping us pull off our Halloween homes. Hey, any workshops or classes coming up? Yes, I'm teaching a calligraphy workshop at The Right Image on October 19th. Where can we get details on that? MelissaEsplin.com. Look for the link to MelissaEsplin.com on our website, studio5.ksl.com. Thanks so much, my friend. Really fun. Thanks for hey,